Well, more first round action here on board 17 at UK Open Qualifier 2. And every woman, every man, it's Andrew Curry Van. Bet his nan's watching this. That one's Scott Giblin's. We like that. It's a bit of a shame, really, because if Chris Murphy on the other streaming board was doing this one, he'd have about nine pages of rubbish Bullseye. puns. Won the ball, to throw first. But we won't get 11 legs. We'll figure something out. Let's see Ryan Murray against Andrew Curry Van. Now, Ryan Murray, Scotsman. Neither of these guys tour card holders, so you might not have seen much of them, but Ryan Murray's been around and he produced one heck of a result yesterday. 135. Made the last 32, so he won his board, beat Robert Thornton, the seeded player, 6 0. Not bad. Ended up losing to his fellow Scotsman, Mark Barilli. 29. Just the 29 for Ryan Murray. Can't imagine he threw too many of those in his 6 0 win against Robert Thornton. Eighty. Good last dart saves Caravan. Seventy-three. So this is the other half of the board. We've already seen Scott Rollins book his place in the board semi-final. He's going to take on Jamie Lewis, the seeded player. Twenty-six. But the winner of this one, between Murray and Curryvan, faces either Martin Lukeman, who we've seen already. And that was the 177 fired in by Murray. Wasn't sure if he'd hit that treble 19. Maybe just finding his stride after a ropey couple of opening visits. Yeah, Brian de or Martin Lukeman. The other first round proper game on this board. I'll be on straight after this one. Andrew Curryvan came to Q School, didn't really do a lot. Forty. Tried to qualify for Lakeside back in 2011. Played the World Masters in 2011 as well, but at very early stages. Not really done anything in darts until he turned up at Q School here in Wigan last week. And proceeded not to do a great deal there. Tops, though, for the first leg. 100. Misses low. 104 for Murray. Some players go trouble 20, some go trouble 18. Some go 16s. Oh, that's good. Double 12. Oh, good finish. Ryan Murray, 104 check out after hitting the 177 in that leg as well. And it's a break of throw. Sixty. Ninety-four. Forty-one. Seventy-seven. One hundred and forty. Tom Forty for Curryvan gets him back in this leg. One hundred and forty. We're now early. Both days so far, Andrew Curryvan. Forty. Thirty six scored. Fifty six. Well, 
He's going to get two darts at the double. Caravan looking minimum a ton, and that is a nightmare of a dart for him. Oh, followed up with another. 26. Horror show. 26. Bed and breakfast. Tops. Sixteen. Ryan Murray. From the Dave Chisnell School of Darts and Nicknames, his nickname is Muzzer. How did he come up with that, eh? Fifty-five. Tops. Can he come up with that? Yes, Game he can. Two-nil. Did make the UK Open in 2011, did Ryan Murray. Went out in the opening round. He's played some challenge tour in the past. 100. It's actually three times he's been to the UK Open. 2010, 2011, 2012. 140. Not made it past the last 96. In fact, 41. his run yesterday to the last 32, where he picked up 750 quid, is pretty much the biggest prize he's had in darts. He did make the quarterfinals of the Scotland National Championships back in 2014. Not sure how much money he picked up for that. £10,000 to the winner here today. £11.2 million prize money on the tour this year. Wedge. Looking at the 19s here. Ninety-nine. Well, effectively stolen the darts as Muzza. Sixty. And he's going to be down to a finish. How good a finish? Well, could have been a little bit better. 109. Oh. Oh, raced through with that last dart. And it's, it's cost him, really. Just if he stayed straight, would have been very different. Oh, he's looked at the 9. He's put it in the 14. So he's 35 left. Looking at 3. <laughs> he's hit the double. <laughs> well... He's probably coming back. He definitely is coming back. 99. Now, 29. Missed a big number, then he's hit the double accidentally. Which way does he go now? 13 for double eight. Double four for 3 0. And a second break of throw, and that will do. Curry Van. Hmm. Oh. Seeing the game being taken away from him. Twenty-eight. Sixty. One hundred and forty. Yeah, Murray's got the better of Caravan in this one. You can see even his misses are a little bit closer to the target. Yeah, and, uh, illustrated there. One bang in the middle of the treble five, one way down in the skinny one. Caravan. Anything but hot 100. today. Sixty. Sixty-five. Eighty-four. One six eight's a bogey number. All he can do is look to set it up. 
It's a good start. Eighty-four. Well, Harbs is score. Eighty-four scored. Eighty-four left. Need another treble to get down to a double. So Murray for four nil. Treble twenty. Double twelve. Sixty. Oh, come back and have another go at it. And better to miss outside than inside in this particular instance. Don't want to be chasing along to double six and double three and then having to split it potentially. Fifty-nine. Not enough pressure from his opponent. Double twelve. Double six. There's a little glance at Coven's score. He does have to go for it. Twelve. He did go for it and it's more missed darts at double. What a shot this would be. Which route? When he gone the conventional way, some players go treble 18, tops, tops. Some players look at two treble 17s for double 16. Double 6, though. It's the obvious way for 12. Double 3. 6. Well, more darts missed by Murray and Curryvan sidling up behind him may just pinch this leg. Staying there. Double 18. Mm, well, you thought he had the weight of dart there from that second dart. All he needed to do was just the line. Double 3. Ryan Murray to finally win this leg. And there it is. It's 4-0, the Scotsman. Made hard work of that leg, but he does get it in the bag. Two legs away. Fifty-five. One hundred maximum, and I wasn't sure we were going to get one. We had a one-seven-seven in the first leg from Murray, but he's fired in the one-eighty here against the curve and throw, and already you're thinking this might be a six-nil job. Ninety six Scott Giblin, PDC marker, just raced in as Murray, unable to take out the one six seven, but he's had a good leave there. Giblin has literally raced into the comms box to throw an awful pun about Andrew Curryvan at me. Said he looks pitiful. Game shot. It's disgusting, isn't it? But apt because he's 5 0 down and on the brink of an absolute bageling. 57. Sixty. Ninety-five. Forty-nine. Well, look, Ryan Murray hasn't had much in terms of a test in this one, but he's gone about his business. There's been some moments of quality. 104 check out, he's at 177 and a maximum. He's got the job done. He can evidently play, you know, 6 0 win over Robert Thornton yesterday. And he'll go into the board semi final, assuming he completes this win. If he can win that semi final against either Brian de Hoog or Martin Lukeman,
then he'll pick up another 250 quid. And that, added to the 750 he picked up yesterday, should be enough. Now the 152. Does he stay there? No, he goes over to the 12, and that leaves him 60. Caravan, not going to take out the 167. Murray had a good go at it last leg. 36. Just the 36, and that might be that. 20 for double top. Ryan Murray for a 6 0 win to do to Curriven what he did to Thornton yesterday. Down for double 10. Game Six time. zip, and that will be that. No more Andrew Curriven. We'll see Ryan Murray in the board semi final. Coming up now, we find out who he faces. It's Brian DeHoog or Martin Lukeman.